pretty much a, a game, <laughs> essentially. Let me, um, I can't put it in full screen. I gotta do window capture. Are you for real right now? That's okay. Um, uh, that's fine. Um, let me, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do bam, 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 bam. Okay. So it hopefully shows up. It's not showing up. Um, that's why isn't it showing up? <laughs> Hold on, I was gonna work. I haven't tested this because I haven't. I wasn't sure. It's a last-minute decision. I really should stop making those. But I like it. Okay. Um, it doesn't want. To, uh, <laughs> it really doesn't want to do it. Um, that's fine. I I know what we can do. Bam. Let's do this one. Okay. Bam. It's a white screen for some reason, which is really weird. I don't think it's supposed to be. <laughs> okay. Shh. Stop the presses. Okay. Doesn't wanna. Doesn't wanna do it. That's weird. Okay. Let's try our best to do that. Bam? Question mark. Oh wait. Oh, we got it working, but it's showing up in a corner. No, whole screen. There we go. Okay, we got it going now. Okay, in the brutality of all its forms, everyday reality. Okay, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Start over. We missed a bit. My, I'm sorry. I <laughs> I barely got it working. I don't want to... Let's get it working right. Also, I forgot to get Lurk Bay open. My bad. But yeah, it's fine. No one's using it. <laughs> okay. So now, it shows up. Come on, come on. Come on. Please, please, please. There we go. Nice. English. Sukuban game. Get, come on, come, give me the good stuff. Okay. <clears throat> Glitch City 2070 something AD. Cool. A city that shouldn't exist. A tax haven where corporations and criminal empires reign supreme. In this place, all human life has been infected with nano machines to keep them in check. Over them stand the white knights who ensure something. I, I accidentally skipped. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, goodness. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. <clears throat> come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I did it again. Okay, you know what? Screw this. We're going to freaking... I'm going to make sure it's showing up first before I do anything. Okay? All right, guys. I'm not going to touch anything. Show up. You got to give it a second. Come on, please stop letting me down. I was like, I gotta make sure it's not too loud. So I wanna adjust that as well. But you know, I gotta actually get it going first. Okay, let's turn this down. Turn this up. See, this shouldn't exist. Tax haven, corporation, and criminal empires reign supreme. Yada yada. In this place, all human life has been infected with nanomachines to ensure the corrupt government's laws are obeyed. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, read faster. Be better. Here, brutality in all its forms and everyday reality, the quality of life are all non powerful decreases at an alarming rate. For many, this can be overwhelming. Some devote themselves to their jobs, their families, or even their studies. Some look for ways to escape this place, and others just give up. Damn. <laughs> That's really sad. But for many of them, the answer lies at the bottom of a glass. Drink. Oh, <laughs> alcoholism. Nice. You know, alcoholism is genetic. Or maybe not genetic. Sorry, sorry. On a small road, just seconds away from the main street, somewhere near the slums, you can find the Hall A of the BTC certified car voted VA11. That's a mouthful, so we just call it Valhalla. Yeah, that's why I wasn't sure what to call it the whole time. A small oasis in the middle of the concrete desert, a fountain of spirits waiting for, for tired souls. Cool. I'm pretty sure that's it. Like, that's just the intro, but... Oh, wait, and it's here where this story unfolds. Yeah, 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 whatever. This, this is the intro sequence that I kept skipping. <laughs> New game. Let's get to it. Actually, first. Can I... Adjust. Oh my god. Jeez, set the music down a little bit. Okay. 
I mean, I could full screen like this, I guess. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I guess I could do that. Scanlines. I'll keep them on. I like the I like the aesthetic. We keep it full screen. Just oh wait, oh wait. I just realized. Um, we can actually. Excuse me. Let me adjust. Let me. Oh, now that it's full screen, I can actually adjust it now. Wasn't let me do that earlier. Okay. Cool. Um, game capture. Nice. Everything should be working perfectly. I think. Wait, let's make sure. Guys. No. Okay, we're good. Cool, cool, cool. I was testing something else. There's a BRB in the in the top corner, I think you can see. Is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. Okay. Um you can kinda see it. Or you were able to see it for a second. Now you can't, so haha. -ha. Anyways, new game. This game is us playing com Okay. Best played getting comfortable. Grab some drinks, some snacks, and enjoy. Sit back, relax, hope you have a good time. That's how the stream is too. Sit back, relax, just enjoy. But I'm gonna be yapping, so uh, I'm always on the job. Freaking okay, Anna. Psst, psst. Hey, over here. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, what? I oh, how's that for an entrance? Huh? Was that? Oh, that was you. Come on, Joe. Look sharp. The game's starting. The player needs a good first impression of its main character. I know you served a bunch of tuxedo-clad corgis over the weekend, and the bar will eventually close. And I'll admit, my little prank on you might have gone a little bit overboard. But remember, life is 90% how you take it. Stay focused and look at the brighter side of things. True, actually. I have no idea what the brighter side is, but you should totally find it. Okay. <laughs> In any case, you should totally check that parcel you just got. Where? See ya. Jill. Oh, that's me. Oh, it's just a dream. That's something. There's something near the door. The parcel. The the the, the mail. That wasn't just a dream. That was real. The one piece is real. Ooh, burrito. Oh, I gotta warm it up now. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. A uh, 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 yum yum. Uh, your membership with Shining Fingers. What? Automatically renewed on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800 by then. Make sure to save your data using the Life Backup app. You can now browse the augmented eye. Okay. Boss and me. Hello, boss. Hello, me. Hold to unlock. Um. Oh, what? Oh, and here's four. So who's that letter from? Jill, nobody. Oh, oh cool. Okay. Uh, <laughs> immediately tries to add. Can I add YouTube? Again, Fortnite. Um, Tuesday. Okay, is it, what is it, the 13th of December? Or is it the 13th month? <laughs> That's crazy. The augmented eye. Mass emigration continues as Wonderlanders are the newest threat. Cyborg and Heels returns list next year. Okay, four. His acting is unnatural. I don't think he cares about the rules of nature anyway. Well, oh, I, gotta, I should probably read it first and then. Yeah, okay, I see. Cyborg and Heels returns next year with the Super Silver Thunderdome by Lana Smithy. Smithy? The popular show Cyborg and Heels returns to the Dome this March with tickets going on sale in January. Cyborg and Heels is a massive stage. It's a massive stage show about a cyborg fighting terrorism while wearing heels. Director Quentin Hayter explains Cyborg and Heels' special appeal during an exclusive interview with the Augmented Eye. What's not to love about it? It's Cyborg wearing heels, cutting stuff. That's literally something we've never seen before. A niche market I'm willing to capitalize on. Check out the full interview in the next few weeks, exclusive here at the Augmented Eye. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, can I? No, I can't. Okay, go back. Uh, music. Oh! Select the song. Why can't I? Actually, this is, a good, this is a good test for the volume, actually. Yeah? A little loud. Okay, my bad. My bad, guys. I didn't, I didn't really. This is why I wanted to test the volume. See, it, it was it was perfect. Okay, maybe right here. Yeah, I think that's good. This game is rated mature, so that's something. That's it. That's that's why I was also worried about it a little bit beforehand. But we'll be fine. Alcoholism. That'll be the go live notification. Even though uh, for next time, I guess. Pretty good song. Okay, 
Drive me wild. Don't care. It's a lot of songs. Jeez. Troubling news. Gaza invited. And I... On emo. Okay, I like, um... Was it this one? No. Yeah, I like that one. That one's pretty good. This one's really nice, too. I'm, I'll keep this one, though. Okay. Uh, let's go. Oh, damn. Life backup. Save and load. Save. Oh. Cool. <laughs> That's just how life backup. Add up, add up. Nope. Okay. Let's go to work. Unless we can quick close on. There's a cat. Best boss. You had uh, a boss. I guess. You're my boss. Apparently. <clears throat> good evening. Huh. Hey there, Jill. Okay. Oh, hey, John. Who are you? Beats me. When will you admit you have a John face skill? <laughs> okay. When you let people call you Jules. Quiet. Are you okay? You look distracted. Pretty good song. Hold on. Kind of a banger. Where's Boss? Then uh, she went out to buy some stuff. And... Did you hear what I just told you? You said something? Okay. <laughs> yes, you look distracted. Very distracted. It's nothing. I'm just thinking about stuff. What stuff? Well, I have to pay rent by the 30th. It's just always stressful, and... Ah. Uh, There's also the fact that I spent a whole hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. Hey, buddy. Not to mention the fact that two days ago I found out the bar is at risk of closing. Is it? So the only... Okay, so not only is my life being shaken up, I'm apparently going crazy. On top of that, neutering 4 left me with completely em with a completely empty wallet, and I get evicted if I miss rent again. Ugh. And there's all the beer cans around my apartment. <laughs> this is a lot. Jill, sorry, did you say something? Can you really work today? Of course I can. I mean, I don't have a choice, do I? Let's go to the basics, then, shall we? Just in case. Thank you, Gil. If you make a piano, man, I'll skip the rest. But bear with me for a second here, okay? Let's start with the sugar rush. Look for the recipe using the navigation bar in the recipe book. That will show up on the top left. That's not a recipe. You can also sort drinks by flavors like sweet or types like manly. <laughs> okay. Drag the desired amount of ingredients in the cells to the right on the shaker. Okay. Gill. When done, press the mix button and press it again to stop mixing. Click the serve button or the drink itself to serve it and that'll be all. Oh, and if the drink, oh, you can skip. If the drink looks messed up, you'll need to press the reset button and try again. You can press reset at any time, even while the shaker is moving. Don't be afraid to use it. Gil, I'm the one that went through the form of BTC instruction. And this should be no problem. Sigh. Gil either wants a sugar rush or a piano man. If I mess up with the ingredients in the drink, I can mess up. I can press the reset button. Try again. Okay, so how do I make a sugar rush? It said I can check, but where? Um, by name. Oh, okay. Um, oh, I gotta do this. Sugar rush. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. 150 bucks? Jesus. Two aldehyde. How do I? Um. <laughs> sweet, curly, happy. Okay, I guess one, two aldehyde, a powder delta, an optional carmatrine. Why is that optional? Oh, how do I? Mix it. Yeah, baby. You don't want ice in that? Wait. Here, happy now? Okay. A little, but not quite. Let's do one more. Sigh. <laughs> like just reading. Sigh. I know, I know. Please humor me for a bit. Some drinks need to be blended. This is done by mixing it for over five seconds. You can tell it's being blended and the shaker starts moving faster. You also need to check if the drink should be served on the rocks or aged. Oh, check ice and age buttons on the side to select the one you need. Okay. And in case it wasn't obvious, on the rocks means you have to toggle the ice. <laughs> it should be noted that the station will add ice after mixing. Oh, it does it anyway. But you can choose how. This is something you should mind, though. It's just a fun fact. Okay. Give me a moon blast and I'll leave you alone. Keep in mind what I just said. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go Gil a moon blast by name. Let's go moon blast. Uh, no. Okay. Six aldehyde. One, two, three, four, five, six. One powder delta. Is that five at a time? Five, ten. Okay. Six. And one flanner guide. Is that how you say that? And two cometrine. Cometrine. No listen. Okay. No listen to the Hadron Cannon you can see in the moon for every every one week every month. No, I don't. I, no, no, I actually didn't mean to do that. <laughs> My bad. Let's try again. One, two, three, four, five, six. One of these, two of these, one of these, and two of these. 
all on the rocks and blended. So I get a circle ice, right? And mix. Three, four, five. She can move faster? Yeah. There we go. Serve. Here, did I amuse you for long enough? You did. Sorry to hold it. Let's get working. Yeah. Oh yeah, before I forget. Huh? You can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. Ah, oh, but if the recipe already has over 10, the drink is already big. Ooh, so you ordered a big one, huh? You're paying for that, right? That's a no. Damn it. Oh, if the recipe says it uses optional, it means you can use none or fill it to the brim. Optional carmatrine doesn't count towards making a big drink, of course. Ah, carmatrine is the alcoholic factor in a drink. It doesn't change the taste, but the amount still has an effect. If you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster, so please be mindful of that. So I'm guessing like there's a there's a drunkness like you can get them more drunk and it does different things or you can less drunk and you know whatever. Okay, so I can I can I I you know I can cause problems. Now I am yeah. Hey guys, Dana. Oh boy, who's that? I don't know. Found her while I was out shopping. Oh, it's some random. Yeah. Why bring her here? Well, it was either leave her outside or at the mercy of society's finest to bring her unconscious or bring her unconscious body in here. She's gonna make such a ruckus when she wakes up, you know that. That's up for you to do it. I'll be in my office. That's the boss. You can just push that responsibility. Or you can't just push that responsibility onto us. We have work to do, damn it. There's two of you. Believe in yourselves. Okay. <laughs> do you think Chief knocked her out? Nah, it's unlikely. She'd be crowning about it or taunting us if that were the case. And it's not like her to pick on such a small girl. At least not unprovoked. Yeah, you're right. We just need to keep it quiet. She seems to be sleeping soundly, not comatose. Yeah. Okay then, time to start the night. Yes, I'll start working while you go clean the bathroom. Um, come again? Well, you spent the whole weekend and Monday doing God knows what. We've had some interesting clients come in. Dogs. Lots of them. You're joking. Gil, you know me for how long now? Do I look like the kind of woman who would make a joke like that? Well, <laughs> so, as punishment for leaving me to deal with all that and my lonesome, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathroom. Have fun. Just that? Fine, I see no problem. Where's the cleaning stuff? Here. You brought that from home, didn't you? That I did. Fine. <laughs> with that out of the way, let's say some music on the new jukebox. This model needs to have all of its 12 slots filled with songs before it can start. I wonder what was the log logic behind that decision. Okay. I don't have that one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think, uh, ten, seven, twelve? Uh, I, uh, I don't really know. Um, sure, all of them. Ten mixed drinks and change lives. For the better or for worse. Hey, you, give me a beer. Oh, sure, right on it. I want a beer. It's, I could quite like the big guy, though. So do I just bottle drinks? Everything here is priced at $500. <laughs> So just beer. Okay, so one aldehyde, two Bronson extract, one powdered delta, two flannery guide, and four carmatrine. Two, three, four. All mixed. Um, so any brewed beer come a luxury, but this one's pretty close to the real deal. So they don't, they don't even brew beer like that anymore. So I I don't blend it because uh, it has to be mixed, not blended. Okay, serve. Here you go. No, no, this isn't gonna cut it. Give me a big one. Um, sure. That beer wasn't enough, apparently. <laughs> you freaking ordered a beer? Freaking, okay, my bad. Um, it needs double the ingredients, though. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That, it, it, ten, I mean, that doesn't count towards it, so, what do you think? One, two, three, powdered delta, two, flanner guide, one, two, three, four. Thing is, like, that's as big as it gets, right? <laughs> Apparently. So what? Oops. So what are we thinking? Um, cause like this is just the same thing. Uh. <laughs> Want me to age it or something? Nah, I don't think so. Normally, be double the ingredients. I think I'd remove something, like I take out like a, a flanner guide, and just stick freaking. Uh, my chair is squeaking. My bad. Stick more karma tree. Just, do you want me to put all karma tree in it? I'll do it. I'll freaking do it. Hold on. Let's grab one of these. One of each. <laughs> I got. 
Okay, maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> okay, one out of high bronze and extract. One powder dots, a two flanner guide. And one, two, three, four. Let's do it again. Two, three, four. We'll blend it. Bang. Oh. Maybe not. Because, like, what else can we get, man? Bad touches, too. All in the rocks, enemies. We're nothing but mammal, after all. <laughs> Interesting. I can get you another beer. Two, three, four. Cool. And now? Same thing. I said a big one, Brett. Big. Like, my like, okay. Forget it. These two have to do. You're lucky I was in the meeting close by. This hellhole could certainly use a presence like mine. Although, to be fair, work has taken me out to worse hellholes, like New Jersey the third. Huh. What kind of work do you do, mister? You're talking to Donovan D. Dawson, chief... Jonathan D. Dawson? Jonathan Josh. Chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. Okay, good for you. Nothing gets published there without my blessings. The day started with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. So you're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles on Alice underscore rabbit, then? Alice Rabbit. Hey, people do love those articles. They love reading about the urban legend. Can you blame him? The idea of some wildcard hack hacker working for their own go goals and nobody else's? That's the kind of corny stuff that brings the clicks from all kinds of people. I I don't read this forward. <laughs> and clicks bring money, and money brings nice stuff. I mean, you got a point with that. Stuff like cars, houses, and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. I, sure. Well, I'm not complaining about the fact that you write about the hacker just that you write about them every single day some of it isn't even news just speculations over copycats i can read your, new your newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one article about alice rabbit i can't write read your newspapers with that okay well first of all i don't write about it my interns do the poor bastard thinks it'll help make him full-time employees i'm just capitalizing on the topic while it's popular i mean best business and second you're tired of one article about a supposed hacker but not only but not all the daily stories about murders and other horrors. Well, I always filter out that section. I don't want to start my day scared and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as is. I don't need to add Glitch City's lovely citizens to the list. You're smarter than you look, kid. But if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from the lack of traffic. I mean, fair enough, yeah. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? People get decenti? Decency? People get bored of certain kinds of news after seeing it repetitive. Desensitized. Uh... Uh, certain kinds of news after seeing it repeatedly. I was like, huh? When I started on the job, it only took the news of some elderly woman being killed up to guaranteed clicks. Now, you mean an elderly woman carrying a sick baby getting hit by a truck. Oh, okay, that's not enough. They need a full sob story behind it. That's why I like those urban legends. They're easier to write about and you can make up <laughs> anything you want. Spam them while they're hot. And even, even people like you. People who avoid the murder stories will see them. Or even people like you. People who avoid the murder stories will see them. That brings money. And like I said, money's good. Cha-ching. Huh, I guess he has a point. I mean, he's not wrong. You know what I mean? Like, he, ha he, ha he does have a point. But it's just like, I mean, I guess. You know, you do you. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic too? Oh, I hate those spreads. They just write about how they're better than everyone else. Tell me more. They might also write about how everyone that likes a certain something should be sodomized. What? The worst part about that is that they know half of our clicks come from them, so they get it all diva-like on me. On my ass. I think you're being too harsh. What about... No, I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the col columnists on your page are annoying. See? The kid on the restaurant critique column. Um, uh, forgot that brat's name. <laughs> restaurant? I think that's... That kid. Couldn't care less about his name. Anyway, his column is the least visited in the bunch. He gets less hits than the uh, obituaries. However, he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about half of the places he visits. How so? He rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. I've heard, I've even heard he tries to get free meals by proclaiming that he's a food critic. Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. <laughs> I do remember some guy coming here asking for a free drink and saying he was a critic or whatever. They look like a fat child with a really small face. No, wasn't this one then. Anyway, all this talk made me thirsty. Try to give me a beer this time, please. Coming right up. Beer again. This man likes his beers. They come cheaper in bulk at the store, though. You want a real beer, huh? It was, just to make sure, it was two of these, two of, two of these, one of these, and one, two, three, four of those. Thing is, though, like, that's, like, what do you want me to do? What would satisfy you? Just all car, car 
What the freak? Dog. Um, by flavor. You're a bitter drinker, for sure. Or not. What? Abuse? You're a, a bubbly drinker. Interesting. I, I, actually, no, that makes sense. The froth. Okay, whatever. Um, one, two, three, four. Or just, I'll just give you another beer. Four. Boom. One beer. Yeah, this is a beer, all right. It's the same. It's the freaking same thing. Keep it up, kid. You'll get better someday. Whatever. So tell me. Do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. If a place smells like soap and dog piss, I'm within my cons constitutional rights to call it a hellhole. I'm doing my best here, thank you very much. What was that? Nobody important. Hey, I heard that. <laughs> Don't be offended by what I said, kid. I'm just insulted the building, not you. You can think of it as a small hole in hell rather than hellish hole if you like. Charming. So, celebrities. Not really, at least. Not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, you have to serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your stuff. Your crap. I don't see you losing your crap. You know, to be you have wait what? You have a serious VIP as a client. What do you mean? You're not making me feel. Sp oh, I see. You're not making me feel special, honey. And second, because I'm always up for gossiping regarding famous people, especially the red carpet kind of famous. Those folks. Those folks. People pretend to love. Oh, the folks that people pretend to love, but actually want to see fall from grace. Pretend to love, fall from grace? Why do you think that gossip around famous people always sells? People pretend that they love celebs, but when they really want is to see their idols torn down to their level. They want to see them suffer to get their co comeuppance for daring to be so much more successful than them. Now, I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys, but nobody wants to admit to enjoying. You're not wrong, but even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. They want to escape their lives by living somebody else's. I mean, fair. Sadly, I fail to see the appeal in that whole thing. I was like, give it a second, hold on. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I meant to do something else. Okay, hold on. Uh, give it a second. My bad. We're just having a plethora of mistakes, aren't we? <laughs> My bad. Right, let's get to work. Uh, we're just gonna skip back. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Wait, what do I make you again? I gotta make you a um, sugar rush, or piano man. By flavor, no, oh, my name, piano man, two aldehyde, three bronson extracts, five powder delta. Oh. I can do more than 10? What the freak? This is how I learned this? <laughs> one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. All on the rocks and mixed. One, two, three, four. Bam! There we go. Here, you're happy? Yes, yeah, sorry, it's not corrected. Now let's get working. Before I forget. You can make any drink big by doubling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Let's just get to this stuff real quick. Um, I couldn't do that one. That one's good. Um, let's get to troubling news. I think that one's good. And I don't know what that one is. Um, let's just do some bangers, I guess. Random ones. I don't know these ones. Neo Avatar, Night of the New Year's. Obviously, the Dark, whatever that is. Um, yeah, baby, Don approaches. Oh, that's gonna boom. Dynamics drinks. Yeah, yeah. You want a beer, right? Okay, beer. So one aldehyde, two bronson extract, one powder delta, two flanner guide, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Here you go. Yapping beer wasn't enough. You want another one? Yeah, yeah. Whatever. One, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. I could just do it again. Yeah. One, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Let's give him a big one at this time. How about this one? Ah, yes. Now, this one's fit for a man like me. There we go. Let's do it right this time. <laughs> You're lucky I was in a meeting close by. This whole show needs a present like mine. To be fair, New Jersey the third. What kind of work? Donovan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, same. Just the same thing. I gotta make him another. I'm, I get to the point where we get to the another beer. 
Yeah, there we go. One, one, two. Let's get him the regular one, okay? One, one, two, one, two, three, four. Three, four. On beer. Yeah, this one's beer, alright. Keep it up, kid. It's same thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To begin with, he has a few VIP. Fountain, fall in love. Team server. Okay, we're getting, we're getting here. Living somebody else's. Perhaps you appeal. Okay, there we go. What do I care if this guy saw a ra some random movie was wearing socks with sandals, or if they were dating God knows who? Granted, socks with sandals is practically a public indecency, but still. Oh, please. As a bartender, I bet you have strong voyeuristic streak. Your kind always loves to hear that stuff. Just like a hairdresser's. Or just like hairdressers. It sounds hypocritical coming from you. Even if it was the case, I don't sensationalize what people do. I don't make it more than that person, you know, from TV acts like a human. Sensationalize is the key word here. Just the other day, I saw this committee judge complaining over what some girl was wearing at the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. But the problem exists because they're the ones act constantly cultivating the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. Going to exotic locales, dressing in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of. All that just leaves the pumpkin, the public pumpkin, craving for those little moments when they make a mistake and fall to their level. <laughs> okay, I can't say this a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see they're human. I mean, yeah, hey, that dude that plays the nice guy is indeed a really nice guy. No way. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help. Sensationalizing everything. It feels like they're in instigating a behavior that shouldn't be acknowledged in the first place. It's your fault. You like your big words, I'm brat. Well, two can play that game of, uh, hmm. Hey, you're a bartender, right? No, I'm a lab rat held in a world conquest. So I doesn't waste my time, my money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. Anyway, I just realized that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Time to talk about changing topics. Maybe. Why? Wouldn't you like a column talking about those? I believe it would sell quite well. It would be like... The priest who published confessionary stories, and then it got excommunicated and lynched. He would usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender, a personal stranger of sorts. We could have you ghostwriting. Half of my staff do that. <laughs> they do? You don't really think Lane Smithy is just one person, do you? Figures. Anyways, eventually the people from the stories wouldn't would know it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. Oh, now I heard the clients too, I guess. Oh, if you ever retire, that offer is waiting for you. Yeah, like you remember me two weeks from now. Sure. Do you want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Did I say something wrong? Not at all. I just really like the sound of that. Okay. Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Is it really that special? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson or Boss. Boss is just a title. It's too impersonal and cold. It is? Yeah, because you, you, we call our boss, boss. <laughs> Mr. Dawson was my father and grandfather. It's too general, but Mr. Donovan? Now that's more like it. They're referring to me, to the man in front of them. Not my family, not to the position as boss, to me. Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? Oh, gods, no, but I want them to fear me. Not because I'm their boss or the name appearing on their paychecks. But rather because I strike mortal dread into them. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to make everyone call me that. Oh, yeah. You were asking something? What was it? Drink. Another one. Do you? Do you? Ah, uh, yes, yes. You know what? Third time's a charm. Give me a beer. Alright. Third time's a charm for what? Anyway, better give him that beer. I gave him... This is the fourth beer, by the way. I believe it's two of these, right? Yeah, two of these, one of these, two of these. Get in there. One, two, three, four. Mix. We're giving him a regular beer. Two, three, four. We don't want him to get too drunk. <laughs> one beer. Hey, I guess this one's good enough for now. Sure. Good to hear. Say, kid, does this bar have any investors? He didn't call it... He didn't call it a hellhole? <gasps> he's, it's, he's growing on us. There was some bloke named Sven that wanted to give us money if we stabbed his face all over the place. <laughs> but aside from that, no. <laughs> These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there's no local investors. Why? Just wanted to let you know how lucky you bastards are. Investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth. <laughs> Those bastards think they're so important because they put their money in the company. Well, that's... I mean, you give me money so you can make more. Let me do my thing and I'll give you your money. But no, they have to stick their noses and start changing the silliest of stuff. 
No good is it to be the boss if you still have to work for someone else. You still have to answer to unions, the government, those kinds of organizations, don't you? Yeah, but that's the paperwork. I make somebody else do it and call it a day. These lo losers ask for meetings. They start talking about stuff they don't like, stuff they found offensive. And there's always that one guy or gal that says, hey, why don't you do that? Wait, what? Why don't you do what the other newspaper does? Ah, recently they told me they were ne they need more clicks. More clicks. I make sure to keep stuff spicy while, while still keeping production quality up, but it's never enough for them. Well, you know what? They want more clicks? I'll give them more clicks. I'll show them what happens when I do what they want and don't reject ideas. Then know who the hell Donovan D. Dawson is. Should I be worried? Nah. At least he paid it for some enough. I wonder what happened with Sven though. He never heard from him again. Jill. <laughs> yes. What the hell happened in the bathroom? That kind of message usually requires you to have thumbs. Oh, dogs. Crafty dogs, I tell you. You think the short legs would hinder them? The ceiling. The sinks. The toilets. The vents. Shh, you wake up Briar Rose over there. I won't forget this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Clint. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I... Big gut punch. Fast. Alright. Let's do it. Uh, wait, no. Uh, gut punch. Bam. One of these. Five Bronson. Five. Uh, let's do ten. One, two, three, four, five. One of these. Did I put two on it? No. I, yeah, we're good. Optional Karmatrine. All aged and mixed. Oh. Optional Karmatrine? Uh, it's optional. You didn't say anything, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give it to you. How's this? Two, three, four, bam! Gotcha. Hmm. You can actually do it then. Hmm. This crack house is a bar. <laughs> Hellhole crack house. It smells like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? I'm surprised you decided to call it, come to our little crack house at all, Mister. What the hell do you care? The payment registry says. Sorry for the question then. Mr. Ingram McDougal. Sorry about the smell. We're working on fixing it. There's an, there was an incident over the weekend. But it's Tuesday. Please, let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant regardless. If I pay you, will you come with me to the motel for a couple of hours? No. Then I have no use for you, beyond giving me drinks. Such pleasant clients out tonight. May I ask you why you decided to come to our bar then? Somebody recommended me this place. I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. She says she's a regular here, and all I'm starting, and all, I'm starting to doubt her tastes. A regular? Can I ask who? No. But, I mean, I, I know who she is anyway. So, I'll consider one thing though. Whoever picks the music at least at least has decent taste. Hey, that's freaking go. Hey, Joe, what do you for the last of this soap? Girls run out. Below the sink, it's where it's always been. Right. Oh, customer. Good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. So any other feedback you want to provide this establishment so we can enhance our customer experience? No, nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. I can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Dana Zane, the Red Comet, the woman who fended off mall rioters all by herself, knocking them out cold one by one. That's an achievement and title I've never heard before. I know boss did quite a few things for opening this bar, but that sounds... Would you happen to know how she got her mechanical arm? I heard a couple of stories, but they sound too fantastical to be true. You've heard an interesting you've had an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out arm rioters with her bare hands. Why don't you see something like that? It's hard to not keep your mouth shut in front of that. <laughs> interesting. You can relax though. I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One involved class five weaponry, the one other one a pickup artist. And the latest had an alpaca? An alpaca. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Not really an alpaca, but there's this woman that owns a textile company. She got really drunk and she started screaming like she was an alpaca. Oh, started spitting on everything afterwards. Our boss had to show her the exit. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's leave it at that. Can I get you something else? Give me a pill pile driver, please. Please? Ooh, <laughs> you're so nice. All of a sudden. Okay. Thank you, boss. Pile driver. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Mix. Two, three, four. Uh, we're good. Doesn't it burn as hard on the tongue, but you know what? Better not have a sore throat when drinking it. Okay, no mix, no age. Okay, cool. There you go. Hmm, it's fine, I guess. It's what you ordered. Hey, lady, have you ever faked an orgasm? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I think I heard it wrong. I asked if you ever faked it. <laughs> he's, he's full of conf confidence. That's a question I'm not going to answer. I'll take that as a yes. I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere people lie once in a while. 
Lies can buy you time. Lies can make you happy. Reality will come crashing through that door eventually, but for a moment, a lie can give meaning to you. I say lies are li oh, wait, I say lies are like your porn stash. You know, they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. <laughs> Does that mean you really faked orgasm? Because you look like you have a lot of experience. What does that mean? What, what do I look like? Like, what do you mean I look like this? What? See, that's quite the random thought to just suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? Not really. I was just thinking about making people... Or about people making polite comments at this, about this crack house. So, of course you were. The freak? Anyways. Hey, I'm not gonna need another drink here. I'm gonna need another drink here. Ready? Already? How do you think you're drinking a bit quickly? That's my problem. Not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. Alright. Let's give him the fringe weaver. Let's... Let's... Let's give it to him. One aldehyde. Nine! All aged and mixed. Uh... Drinking ethylic... Ah, see the crack in my back. Ethylic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. Crazy. One, two, three, four. Bam! Try to drink it too fast. That's up to me. <laughs> hey, lady, have you ever felt empty? Empty how? Like hunger? No, I mean empty like there's a part of you missing. Can't say I particularly have. I just feel this part of myself that lacks something. An urge to get or do something that I can't just satisfy. Have you tried taking up a hobby? It might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Well, I do this. Cro <laughs> I crochet in a stream. <laughs> okay. Well, collecting stuff, reading, uh, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising. Sounds a lot cheaper than the alternative. Which is... Okay. <laughs> I tried sex tourism once. It was like a bloody Russian roulette of STDs I left midway through. I once burned my Chris Christmas bone and hiring three women for an orgy. Bone is more amusing and way cheaper. I also hired a girl to act like my daughter for a day for three years in a row. Now, that is interesting. Nothing seems to do it. Um, have you tried rescuing a puppy? We're not, we're not going to talk about that. Actually, uh, whatever. It's your business. We can screw you. Have you tried rescuing a puppy? You can't freak puppies. At least you shouldn't. Okay. I mean, you know, uh, why is that the core, like, like the, the, the line you like, oh, the line, why is that like the connection you make? You know what I mean? Okay, whatever. I'm drawing a blank then. I think of anything that might help. I wasn't expecting you to help me or to believe me. Huh? I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Anyway, I'm leaving now. The smell is killing me. Please come again. Don't count. <laughs> Good. Whew. Phew. Boss, I'm going to take a break. All right. Jeez, Louise. 2069. Nice. Oh, let's save. Uh, taking our break. Oh, these are cool, actually. I like these little, these little guys. Okay. It is now safe to keep playing. Okay. Uh, how long have we been going on for, by the way? Like two hours. We can do the rest of this, I think. Like another after the break, finish up, and then that'll be it. Okay. At least I didn't get locked up this time. Nope. Oh. That sounds like clicking. Sounds like you can move by clicking. Okay. You know what? Let's um. Let's keep it. Okay then. Back in action. I'm guessing we're supposed to change it at some point, but I like it. I like it. Okay. Go to even a freaking robot. <laughs> uh. Would you mind taking your helmet off? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you can bane over here. Oh, I was born in the darkness. No. Uh, it's so comfortable. I usually forget I have it on. Good for you. Is this better? Yeah, thank you. What can I get you, miss? Master Specialist C.P. Asagiri of the 765th Division Valkyrie Corps at your service. Yeah, I'm not. Wait, that's too long. Just call me Say. Okay. Hi, Say. What can I get for you, Say? Let's see, I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. Oh, not as sweet as in cool. Although a cool drink would be nice too, but not cool as in great, especially not as big. More so, since I have to get up early tomorrow, I can't afford a hangover. Sorry, did you get, did you get that? A sweet drink, preferably a cold one that's not too big, right? Yeah, that's it. I can do that, give me a second. Something small, sweet, and icy. I wonder if something so specific. Sweet. I'd be one of these. Sugar Rush? It's sweet. Light and fruity, as girly as a cat. <laughs> Maybe not this one. It has to be sweet. They're all, they're all freaking. Oh, okay. We gotta go back. Is it a piano woman? Primo happy, but it needs to be icy though. 
Um, hmm. What are we thinking? Maybe by type? No. Uh, definitely girly. Uh, Sunshine Cloud? Too out of high. Bitter girly soft. Small, sweet, and spicy. Icy, not spicy. I'm um, thinking a fedora with perfume and a plum. Um, definitely. The sugar rush seems like the best start, honestly. But icy, it's icy. Maybe this one. Blue fairy seems pretty good, actually. Um, you, optional cometrine that you don't you don't want the hangover. Okay, girly. What was it? Blue fairy. Sugar rush. Uh, same thing except sweet, light, and fruity. It's sweet and light. But icy is specific. I feel like I want something. Uh, Bleeding Jane. Um, spicy classic, sobering. Maybe not that one. Um, it's definitely gonna be girly. <laughs> Fluffy Dream. Uh, all Asian mix. No. Sunshine Cloud. Oh, chocolate milk and smell. Good smell intact. Say it tastes like caramel tea. Uh, girl is bitter. Bitter is the what I want to avoid though. The only thing I can think is one of these two. Oh, this one needs the um, all on the rocks and blended. I see is a specific thing that I'm like trying to get. Oh wait, sunshine cloud. There we go. Uh, optional commentary, but it has ice. Oh, bitter though. It's not sweet. It doesn't it doesn't meet all the criteria. Oh, this is, we looked at this one already. I mean, it's kind of bitter, but it's not sweet. You know what I mean? I see. I get it. I get it, yeah. Um, I think. Uh, let's see. Icy. Um, blue fairy. Okay, maybe not. Um, let's see. Girly. Sugar Rush? Let's get to a Sugar Rush. How about that? Uh, two powdered delta and optional carmatrine. Uh, you don't want to hang over, so I guess I'll just give you like one of these. No, I'll give you one without. Yeah, I'll give you one without. Three, four. Here. Um, I expected something with ice, but this is good enough. I mean, sorry, they don't have all three. We don't get many white knights as clients. I can't remember the one either. In fact, I'm shaded from the Valkyrie Corpse, right? Are you guys the, who deal with? Are you the guys who deal with riots and such? Riots? Oh no no no! You're thinking about Blitzkrieg corpses, the ones with huge plated suits, right? Yeah, those. No, we're different people. I mean, obviously we're different people, but we don't deal with riots or anything. If I say we deal with their aftermath, how so? To rescue, heal, and protect. We're the angels who soothe those suffering enemy attack. We're the light of hope in the darkest of times. The one who assists the victims of crime. We watch. We protect. Um, what was that? Sorry, so do I pledge of allegiance? We recite it every morning. What it means is our what it means is our duties mostly include rescuing civilians, healing the injured, and perfect protecting them from stuff. What kind of stuff? Burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. You mentioned heal. Are you a doctor then? Nah, I know many doctors, but I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely at a doctor. I'm also kinda like a firefighter in that. I sometimes rescue people from places. That must be a tough job. Sort of, but also really rewarding. I mean, I've yet to meet anybody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. I mean, you must have seen some shocking sights. Yeah, this one time when I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building, I looked down and I was blown away by how pretty the sky was. It was like a starry sky on Earth. Oh, and there was a time when we were cleaning up the aftermath of a car crash. Water was pouring out of a hydrant. With the light, scattered pieces of glass, it was almost dreamlike. That's, yeah, that's not what I meant by shocking sights. No, but those are sights, and they're shocking, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> But never mind. Did I mishear you actually meant size? I mean, sure. I've suffered the deepest, longest, and most frustrated sighs from people ever after everything's said and done. But don't worry, you didn't mishear. I guess I was just expecting a different kind of answer. What kind of answer? Don't worry too much about it. You finish your drink. Can I get you anything else? Something classy. Can you be more specific? Don't make it too big. Does that work? Sorry, I don't come in bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. No problem. Don't worry. Classy drink, right? Let me see what I can find for you. Classy drink. Simple enough. I mean, yeah, for sure. I gave you something without caratrine, because you didn't want that. Uh, maybe not a beer. <laughs> bleeding, bleeding Jane. Okay, hold on. Can I? I want to make sure, because I don't think it goes in order, right? No, it doesn't. 
Wait, what a freak? Class, no, Class C, not Classic, my bad. Bread teeny. This one could work. Um, oh, maybe Cobalt Velvet? Oh, that's a lot. Maybe not that one. Fringe Water. Oh my god. <laughs> Mercury Blast. Not a big one, so I think Bread Teeny is the best choice here. Yeah. Because otherwise, it's just like you're getting, you're getting too drunk. I know you don't want to be drunk, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, and one of these. All aged and mixed. No. Okay. 8 out of 10 smug assholes would recommend it, but they're too busy being sad. <laughs> this is funny. Two, three, four. Bam. There you go. Here you are. Yep. This looks like something Stella would drink. Who? She's my dearest friend. Not that I don't have others, but she's the one I've known the longest. She likes these kind of drinks, so I wanted to see what's so special about them. Interesting. What do you think? I was expecting something. Stronger. I like it quite a bit. You're, you're not supposed to get drunk, though. Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? Hmm. Huh? Sorry. Hmm? Put this down a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit better. Um, or maybe not, actually. I'll put it back up. My bad. I'm pressing the volume, because I, I feel like it might be a little loud, but I don't want it to be too loud. Okay. You know my name, now I want to know yours. Oh, sure, just call me Jill. Jill. Hmm. Jill. Jill is short for Jillian. No, that's not right. Jillian... Julianne? Do not call me Julianne, please. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Sigh. No, please excuse me, I didn't want to anger you. Um, why don't you like being called by your full name? It's a stupid reason. Don't t dwell too much on that. Oh, I still feel bad about angering you, though. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Very nice. Why? Because you're like a nice girl, Jill. I don't like angering nice people. If it helps somehow, I really like this place. That actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. What do you like about it? The smell of dog here and it's so... My mom used to be a veterinarian, so I used to go to a clinic after school. So the smell takes me back. It makes me feel comfy and nostalgic. Um... Anyway, <laughs> what made you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian or anything else? Well, I was never a good student, so studying medicine or any kind was out of the question. That aside, it's mostly because of something that happened while I was a kid. A white knight attacked my friend and I was coming for me when this other white knight saved us. I don't remember what happened next. I just woke up in the hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't a prophetic moment or anything like that, but ever since then, I felt this was my calling. That I wanted to help people the same way he helped me. Huh, it's interesting though. One would think being attacked by a white knight would make you run in the opposite direction. Yeah, but it was another one that saved us. It saved me, I guess. So I kind of guided myself towards judging everything on an individual basis. Well, not to an extreme extremist extent, but you get me. Yeah, I, I tried to do the same thing. Why I joined the Valkyrie Corps specifically, though? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. And going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also the one with the least paperwork involved. Paperwork. Now that I think now that I think about it, there are different kinds of white knights, right? I guess white knight is too broad a term. There's not one specific type. There are many different classes. Rescue, assault, there's even a squad full of bureaucrats. Really? Yeah, they get assigned to comp companies of handle the accounting and that kind of stuff. Really. People usually ask for them because they speed up processes. I guess that makes sense. Processes. But a few are assigned when a company is suspected of having weird under the table deals. Interesting. There's also the squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. They're doing a nice job, but the fad of anti-bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. Damn. I believe some members still work with anti-bullying cases in an official, unofficial com capacity. That'd be nice, I think. Can you do anything else? I don't know if I should. I can't afford that many drinks. And besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, you know that? Oh, you know what? I have something else. I remember a drink called a martini. Brantini. No, I'm pretty sure it's a martini. It's Brantini. Trust me. I'll get you one. You want a martini? Sorry. A brantini. I couldn't even make a martini if I try. <laughs> okay, um, brantini. One, two, three, four, five. Didn't I just make this for you? One, two, three, one. I could have sworn I did. Yeah, smug, smug. Yeah, I did. What? Okay, whatever. Two, Three. Oh wait, I forgot. Um, my bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. Grab one of these. One, two, three. I didn't get that. Damn it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One of these with the age. Bam. Two, three, four. Bam. There we go. All for you. Huh? You're right. Thanks. You know what? I think I'm gonna be a friend of mine here in a couple days. Really? Why? 
I like the feel of this place, and I want to share it with her. It might be a bit difficult, though. She's more into, um, classier places. <laughs> not that this place isn't nice, but don't worry. I, I know the kind of place I work in. I see. <laughs> but it shouldn't be too bad. I just need to... What the freak was that? Sound like an explosion. Better check that. I paid you already, right? Yeah, go ahead. Be careful. $2,700? I, I will. She left her helmet. Well, she's coming back. I'll just hold it for her. I will check what an over, over love, the ever loving heck that explosion was. I can say hell. Careful. What? Oh, she woke up. Oh, you woke up from the explosion. Where am I? You've been knocked out this whole time you're here. Good evening and welcome to Valhalla. I might not have been the best thing to say. Valhalla, am I dead? Does that even, doesn't that mean that Uncle Ingus's ramblings about the afterlife looking like a shoddy downtown bar were true? Called it afterlife. <laughs> I'm not dead. As far as I can tell, no. To be fair, I don't know how dead their afterlife work exactly, but you're breathing, right? True. All right, where the hell am I? How did I get here? Who brought me here? What are you planning to do with me? Are you organ traffickers, robbers, rapists, pickpockets? You're pickpockets, aren't you? Why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting for you to vent your worries. Otherwise, you're just you're rapists, aren't you? Racist. The whole lot of you. You want to tear my clothes, beat me unconscious, where you? Ah, yeah, yeah. We can brutally murder me. Oh, also, oh my God, your body lay there twitching, don't you? Murder, 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 murder. Oh, okay. Are you okay, lady? Interrupt me. Well, this isn't going nowhere. Let's see if I can get a drink to calm her down, or to throw at her face. Think carefully, dear. Give her something that'll calm her down. Um. Think carefully. Uh, what can I get you? A beer? I can get you a beer. I don't want to get her, like a girly drink. You might not like that. Too much sugar. I could you something. This one? Champagne curved on a cup that has a bit of Coca Cola left. I'm thinking that one, like, um. The one with the. Bitter? Where is it? Sunshine Club. This one, I'm thinking. Aldehyde, brown sunshine. It's like old chocolate milk with a good smell inside. This it tastes like caramel, too. Uh, one, two, one, two. Do I put the carmatrine? 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 Do I put it in? Honestly. Yeah, I think one. <laughs> I think she might need it on the rocks. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> there we go. Sun Cloud. What is that? A drink. You're in a bar. Bar serve drinks. A bar? So I, I don't know how old you are. <laughs> Sorry. You have the eye thing, though. Are you like the smithy lady or something or whatever? So I figured I should give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry, it's on the house. To calm down, what are you spicy with? Rufies, TTX, pumpkins? God, no, I don't even think of that. Your study makes you suspicious, don't you? If I ever had anything like that to drink, they'd dock my pay and tips. Not to mention, I have to pay any lawsuits myself. That's the best case scenario. I could get fired or lose benefits or go to jail. And trust me, the BTC loves to catch on anyone who commits that particular fel felony. They'd show themselves all proud for a hefty PR boost. And the thought of it going through my head, that's just... <laughs> Even if you say that. Let's do something. If you go outside and head just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. The cashier... Or tell the cashier that... Da Dana Zane sent you. Okay. Two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why I was so noisy. Any damage? Hole in the street. Not by the drivers or anything. I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. You check inside the toilet paper's locker? Oh, what about it? Oh my god. How? Why? <laughs> I'm back. He tried to give me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? No. No problem then. Try it on the drink. It says negative. There you go. But you could be in cahoots with the clerk in the store. Even know your name. Good point. But first of all, it's not my name. It's my boss's. Second, we're pretty much part of a chain, so I like spicy chicken of bars. And finally, I'm not making you drink this. I offer it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right. It is indeed suspicious on my part. Sorry. You can just ignore the drink. Go through that door and forget this ever happened. That would be it, right? That would be it. You're at peace and nothing of value would be lost. Are you implying something, something won't have value because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that my lack of action will yield no difference? Ah! And what about the drink? Are you going to let this fruit of your work go away so easily? No, I, I'll let you know I'm not unimportant, thank you. And that your work does matter. Uh, not sure you should drink it all, so you can... Freaking <laughs> gulping. So how was it? Uh, too strong. I added one karma tree. A single one. Um, Are you alright? Yeah, so you're telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you, I'd have recently re I'd probably reacted the same way. I should apologize for my last comment too. It came as insensitive. 
Ich sage es dir, ich gebe meine Daten in Ordnung. Kann ich dir sagen, was ich hier bin? Mein Boss fand dich unconscious und brauchte dich hier für Safekeeping. Und du warst schlafen, bis dein Auto kam draußen. Ich sehe. Ich sehe es besser, dass ich hier auf der Straße stehe, mit Klausen, Drink, Dignity und slash or Organs. Und or Organs. Wie hast du dich unconscious? Warst du tired, sick? Ich glaube, ich bin sick, aber ich werde nicht darüber sprechen. Natürlich. Ich sage dir, was, deine Dinge sind draußen. Warum würdest du das machen? Considering an apology on behalf of everyone here for all the trouble we've caused you, and something tells me you might need another drink right now. You might be right. Okay then, I'll take you on, I'll take you on your offer. I have a piano, man. Will you be fine? Yeah, I just go up the last one, so I want to enjoy this one. Coming right up then. Uh, piano man, it is. Piano man. You don't see people asking, a woman asking for a piano man every day. All on the rocks. Three Bronson extract. Five powder delta. Uh, five of this. Damn. You are a crazy lady. Getting all this. So this is the right. Uh, five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seven, eighteen. We're too short. That's perfect. All on the rocks. No H. Okay. Two, three, four. Bam! Piano man. All yours. Yeah, this is the one. My dad used to drink these before an actual pianist attempted to kill him. <laughs> what did he do, your dad? I mean, to provoke the pianist like that. Wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. He was relaxing in a bar, and suddenly the pianist, the pianist, pianist, I forgot to say that, left off the stage and started punching him. Some say he was off his meds, and that my dad looked like some music critic that had bashed him. I still, I still hold my stance. He just got too excited. Jazz does that to you. I say, the piano man has an interesting story. That was originally created by a bartender in honor of the pianist friend of his that had just died. Apparently, he mixes all the flavors said friend liked the most. Well, that's nice. So this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long, hard day of work. I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. <laughs> What do you work, miss? Call me Kim. I don't know if I can say I work yet, though I'm still just an intern. The Eye Place. Have you heard of a newspaper called The Augmented Eye? Yes, I freaking knew it. I read it every morning, in fact. Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I knew I smelled his nasty cologne. That bastard leaves his reek wherever he goes. So you believe me? I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that... How, what? Chauvinistic? Horse blower. <laughs> Harsh words. The worst part is I kind of admire the way he does stuff. I mean, he's a good, he, he's savvy. And when it comes to business, you can, you can notice like freaking, he's crazy. He's so forceful about the things he wants. People have done it before they realize what's going on. He even got a pizza delivery boy to work, server maintenance. A full week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. Oh, would you believe it? The guy became decent at server maintenance despite having no previous experience. It's kind of admirable, but at the same time, I hate his guts. Uh, don't we have to work for him? <laughs> Why are you working there then? Did I ask something I shouldn't have? No, no, don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it though. Fair enough. What's your name, bartender? Jill. Or, wait, call me Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? I guess it's hard being a cook somewhere. It's hard as being a cook somewhere. You keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality. All whilst answering the whimsy of people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards that some people might leave behind. Why? Well, at one point I thought about being a bartender. But I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothes and dance or something. What? Here we go again. Well, it depends on where you start working, you know? I guess I got lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. My boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. Your boss sounds like an interesting person. What, with wanting to put me somewhere safe and all that? She is. She's so cool and collected. Yeah, she's so cool and collected, but has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. Sure, she's been a bit tense the last couple of days, but even then, you were, when you were with her, everything just feels under control. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but... <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away. It's fun to see you break those wise bartender character you're using here. I'd do that? It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometimes and thank her. Should I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh no, I shouldn't pass her that way. And besides, it's getting late and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another one, though. I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. <laughs> I think I can handle another drink. One Brantini, please. Coming right up. I want the Brant... Sorry. Amar. Ugh. Brantini. Okay. Uh, oh, I should have a Martini, too. Brantini. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One of these. Two of these. And three of these. One Carmatrine. So she said the other thing was too strong. I mean, she just woke up. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. All aged and mixed. Two, three, four. Bam! What is slot two? I guess I can do two drinks at once. Here. Yep, this seems like the stuff. Cheers. Hey, Jill. Was this job like a lifelong drink or something? 
Not really, it just kinda happened. One thing led to another and BAM! Bartending. Do you regret not fulfilling a dream? Tell you me. Oh, 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 excuse me. The only dream I can remember being passionate about was buying a Model Warrior Julianne arcade machine. Can't say I'd given up on that one yet, but alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for first. You never had a dream you wanted to chase? Not, not really. I mean, most of my dreams have been silly things or childish dreams. Childish dreams. Having a room where every piece of furniture talks. Being a Model Warrior. Oh, childish dreams, yeah. I remember I wanted to live in, live in a koi pond when I was seven. Fish seemed to be having a blast to me. So no dreams? None that I felt particularly motivated to chase, no. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs, <gasps> but I, <laughs> AI, chat GPT, but I just couldn't find it in me to study that. So I picked something I found ni nice and moved on. And somewhere along the way, I became a bartender. I see. Finally. Oh, Gil oh, you are really close to me. Those dogs left a mess I'm not going to forget anytime soon. I mean, how the hell did they throw toilet paper out the window? Oh, client. Good night, man. Jill, I'm going to leave early. I need to take care of the smell cleaning through my body. Sure. Um, who is he? A ghost. Nobody you should worry about. Oh, I heard that. Why are you asking all those questions? Because now I think, now that I think about it, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. I think I, we idealize the idea of a dream job too much. Not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want in life. That's, that's actually really true. Some take a liking to a job, others find it after many failed attempts. Sometimes life takes an unexpected turn and makes you change your plans. Dot dot dot. What I mean is, don't worry too much about it. Yeah, I mean that's that's really, I, honestly, that's really fair. Like uh, literally, like that's why we have people like who graduate college and they still don't know what they're doing. You know? You can. Hey, I'm taking a drink. Sure, this. Oh my God! If only I was of legal age. I'm slamming my desk. My bad. If only I was of legal age to drink. Because that would be crazy. Imagine, like, every time they take a drink, I take a drink. Oh, that'd be a terrible idea. One more year. I can come back to this game. I could. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. That's a good idea, but it's, like, it's awful. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But I just, I just, I drink my orange juice. Like, you know, my little, my little freaking sippy. Whatever. Okay, maybe you're right. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry to break immersion. Well, I'm going to take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Please, thank your boss on my, be my behalf. Bye. Thank you and come again. And that's it. Are you done for the night? Oh, you, you, you. Seems like it. Where's Gil? And where's the girl that was here? Gil cleaned the bathroom and she left because she stank. Because he stank. Oh, sorry. Gil cleaned the bathroom and left because he stank. Kim woke up, had a couple of drinks and left. So she's called Kim. How'd she look to you? How was she? She freaked out when she woke up, but she might have to calm down. Are you worried about her? Wouldn't you be? I mean, we kind of just found her, yeah. Hey boss, do you feel like calling you boss is too impersonal? Hmm, not really, no. It's not like you call me that because I'm a stranger, just out of habit. Uh, because, yeah, your, name, your name's Dana, or Dana, but like, it's, it's called you boss. You know, like, hey boss. It's, I mean, I guess, but it's like if you're really seeking that sort of connection, you know? But like, if you're already, like, we're cool, and you're, like, it's out of habit, you're aware of that, like, yeah, I mean, sure. You, yeah, I know what you mean, you know? So it's like, it's fine. It's only weirder for like we if you meet up outside of work and you still call him boss. I mean, even then though, it's like it's out of habit, so it's it's still cool either way. So it's like, yeah, what's up, boss? You know, like I I, I understand that because like I've you know like with my bosses, quote unquote, like I don't I don't call them like managers, manager or anything. I call them by their name, but like uh, before that too, the other job I worked at, same thing. It was name by name, but like I see it. You know what I mean? Like just calling like. Hey, I got your boss, you know, like stuff like that. It's like, even if they're not your boss, like, hey, it's like saying like, to me, I understand it. Cause like, I'll say stuff like, hey, I got you dude. Or I got you bro. Stuff like that. You know what I mean? I got you boss. To me, it's the same thing. Like, hey, we're going to get you boss. You know, it's like literally yesterday I was working with customers and I was like, we're going to get you man. Or like, we're going to get you boy. Not boy. We're going to get you. It was users. We're going to get you man. Like stuff like that, you know? What can I get you, dude? You know, it's, I don't know. It, it's really dependent on the person. So honestly, I see it. That's why it's like, I guess that that's a fair point to bring up. Like, if it's out of habit or if it's like, it's too impersonal. I am Donovan D. Dawson. Anyway, you're free to go after you finish washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you today's payment. <gasps> Maybe I'll give you, I'll give Gil a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. Thank you. So, we have 2,700. 
The drinks were 2200 Commission? One. Oh, mistakes. One. I made a mistake? What was my mistake? Whatever. Um, 25% commission, though. $550. Plus tips, 500 Flawless service bonus. Not granted. I messed up once. I don't even know how. Was it because I gave the girl alcohol? It might have been. I wouldn't be surprised. She said it was too strong. I can also try that again. See if I, can. I want that flawless body. <laughs> At the same time, I want to read through all that. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Maybe in the next time I come back, like one, a year from now, you know, <laughs> when I'm able to drink. So I take a drink. Like I'll drink to that. Okay, whatever. Today's total transfer: fifteen hundred and fifty dollars. Total funds? Yeah, yeah. Yada yada. Um, make sure it has eight hundred. We are pretty much there. Also, four is the cat. I didn't know that. Weren't you gonna have curry yesterday? Four, quote unquote. Weren't you gonna have curry yesterday? Joe. A ghost took my money. Best boss. That means that's crazy though. Imagine having a poster of someone you actually know in real life and just like, yeah, best boss ever. Okay. Um. Let's read through this. Danger, danger, danger. Mickey, Mickey concert too. Let's talk about Alice Rabbit. What? Okay. Four. That page looks silly. It's amusing in its own ways. Okay. Oh, okay. So let's limit all the concert conversation to this thread. How are you preparing for the best day of your life? I'm going with my boyfriend. Boyfriend. Why would you lie on the internet? Boyfriend. Haha. <laughs> oh, wow. Freaking normies. Get out. <laughs> what? Wait. So they're having a thread, but I guess they're replying to this, like boyfriend specifically. Um, that's so cute, Anon. I'm going with a very special friend of mine. Are you the girl from the other day I had a crush on her best friend? Yes, they're finally going to confess. Oh my god, that's going to be the cutest thing. But I still don't know if I like her. Just wait till Mickey shows up. You'll know right away if you love her. Trust me, I've been there. How so? You understand once you are, you're in there with her. Mickey concerts or some magical stuff. Start is closed. Alice Rabbit. Why have I seen that before? Anyways, the augmented eye. Local woman, local hero. Is this... I think Alice Rabbit may be... Lana Smithy. 70% of our readers consider shrimp ramen to be disgusting. Wrong. The shrimp is so artificial it doesn't trigger my allergies. Oh, never mind. It is not really a surprise. A lot of people seem to hate this particular brand of instant food. This is from a survey we conducted here at the Augmented Eye last month that we asked our readers to tell us the most hated dishes. 6,000 votes. It looks like the market for shrimp ramen is reducing. That's good, because it sucks. It sucks so much. I barf a little every time I smell it. I can't even like that. It's ridiculous. I can't even finish this article. I'm sorry, everyone. But I had to puke. Ugh. I hope it's out of. It's put out of sale. What about the local... Oh, I can choose. I didn't know that. Okay, a local woman local hero, mid-air, something a bit too fantastical. A suicide attempt was thwarted by an unidentified local woman. The incident occurred at the Artemis Will Mall, where people noticed someone at the top of the rooftop of the building. Firefighters were called as soon as their presence was noted by pedestrians, but the person jumped off without notice. But just then, when the would-be suicide victim jumped off, a local woman was able to catch them mid-air and fled the scene before anyone could identify her. The mall is taking extra security measures now. I think Alice Rabbit may be... Don't trust this dog. A dog, you say? Why not? After we're seeing brain enhancements, they're capable of learning at near human speeds. So why is it so impossible to imagine a gifted dog... All by Lana Smithy, by the way. A gifted dog who uses their brilliance for programming. Makes a lot more sense, right? Well, maybe. Picking, uh, uh, those purple numbers. This is definitely a code, by the way. Or something. But I'm not doing that right now. I think we'll, we might figure that out next time. or uh, Who knows? Maybe we'll just do it another time. But for now... Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna do a different save for each mistake. Or, no. Nah, nah, we'll have, we'll have the, the usual. Uh, okay. I think that's a good spot to end it. Most proper numbers, yeah, yeah. Um, wait, oh, same thing? It says on the tin, so it's news of them, drawing a blank right now. Haven't heard of Alice, let's, let's, let's finish this. Happy not birthday, cheeky bastard. I haven't heard of Alice in a while. I think of it. You're planning something? There's this constant rumor I heard about the terrorist attack next week. Don't scare me with that stuff, please. I have enough as it is. Log gonna be attacked, and it'll be funny to see those white knight freaks do nothing but drink. How do you know if you get hacked by Alice? It's my first time reading about them. Lurk more. <laughs> but you normally, she normally leaves a funny ASCI ASCII drawing and a message. Something like, Happy Not Birthday. Sounds lame as freak. Why is Alice even a celebrity? The heck? hell alice was the one who leaked all the internal white knight memos she literally started the riots with the leaks at least try her with your baits 
the missing the bait is like the like she didn't do anything. Uh, same thing. Okay, in the last run, Anon wants to confess her feelings for her last for her best friend. I said, "Oh no." And how is she? I bet she's one of those cute, cutest girls that can't catch her signals. Uh, you could say that, but she has incredibly she can be incredibly sharp sometimes. So I was right. It's going to be difficult, and I have to be direct and to the point. I'm afraid it's going to be. Wait, I'm afraid that's going to be the case here. Not that I'm actually in love. Stop. <laughs> I'm going to marry Miki. Stop being such an intention whore. We are here for Miki. Come on, Anon, don't be mean. I'm going to help a fellow Miki sister. You don't have to fight because of me. I wasn't any intention to derail the thread. Don't pay attention to it. Everyone else wants to help you. I'm a guy. I'm a guy. Now who's the intention whore <laughs> again? Like, who cares? Fair enough. Okay. Does anyone know of childhood romances that succeed in real life? Four. You're just lonely. <laughs> And with that, that's enough for me. Um, we saved. We're chilling. That was awesome. You know. Okay, let's, let's close this real quick. That was pretty good. I really like that. I'm thinking. We'll come back to it for sure. But it's a question of when, I guess. We'll see. We'll see. But I'm pretty happy with that. We went on for like the exact amount of time I wanted to. I wanted to spend like the last 30 minutes actually just like finishing up and perfect. So good. Um